and thanks for joining me for another new week with Mary's Dreamtime Messages. How did you go last week? Do you remember the cards that we pulled out? Um, you know, the two cards that we pulled out last week was with Dolphin I Am Aware, letting us know that, you know, it's important to get in touch with nature and learn more about nature and how, you know, the cycles within nature are a reflection of ourselves and how you can greatly benefit from the healing life force of creation that is within nature. When we can learn more about it, we can tap more in, into the energy of it and, you know, use it um, to our benefit and you know the other card that we pulled out was with um crocodile with dragonfly i am determined letting us know that we are you know determined on mastering a change change is not always easy but you know it's important to keep focus on our goals and you know there could have been a rising opportunity that is you know going to contribute to the power our power and confidence within ourselves and so you know that opportunity could be coming up sometime soon if it hasn't already and so be on the lookout for that this month and so it was a new moon on Sunday and um, so then we're going to be coming into a waxing crescent moon and so you know that's going to be um, you know it's important to um, you know, create a successful life by doing some journal work and you can make a new beginning more meaningful by doing that and this um, can bring uh, a lot of purpose to your day and to your um, plans and goals. You know, um, the, the waxing crescent moon signifies intentions and so it's the perfect time for your journaling and you know it's important to make use of this little window of potentially charged light and energy and so um, I will leave some um, you know major activities that you can do on my social media pages this week to do with the waxing crescent moon and your journaling and so also um, I have some uh, the week is actually going to be starting the 11th of March and running until the 17th and so you know during these videos I'll always be telling you the perfect time to be doing uh, your little um, exercises that are going to you know uh, contribute to the planning of your goals and you know so you can get a lot more out of uh, your journal work and you know it's important to write those down you know that makes you accountable and for uh, what you're trying to achieve and the goals that you're trying to reach and in the time frames as well because as the moon cycles you know there's always um, certain activities that are always best to do during certain cycles of the moon and so these are part of the dream time journal prompts um, and uh, so also I wanted to be letting everybody know about some um, and also bringing back to your attention some new original paintings this week that I'll be featuring. Last week I featured some new canvas um, prints that I'll um, adding to the store so every second week I'll feature some of the original paintings you know there's just a couple left from the last couple of years and but you know more recently this one was just done last year with the crimson rosella and the kookaburros and so this one was done during autumn which is the season that we're in at the moment in Australia and so these ones are the first time that I've um, you know um, painted this tree um, with the autumn leaves and also the kookaburras with the crimson rosellas and so the meaning behind this one I don't think I've listed this one so there's a couple here that I haven't listed yet so just go to the original paintings tab and you can see a list of a lot of the bird paintings that I have and some other other paintings and so yeah that one's a really um, nice one with those two um, 
Australian animals and the other one that I wanted to also show you was the Boo Book Owl with flowers and some other um, flowers in there as well and that's the first time that I've painted the Boo Book Owl with flowers so you can go check that one out under the original paintings tab and I've also got the plover um, lapwing birds and this one has the dragonflies with these this one as well which I'm pretty sure this one was done in 2022 and it's the first time I've done these birds and they're pretty cheeky and you can hear them mainly at night time a major Australian bird here in Australia and so yeah go check those um, three original painting out out on the online store and you have some great stories and the spiritual detailed story that comes with it and so let's get to it and see the two animals that are going to be guiding us this week um, during the 11th of March to the 17th of March so if you haven't got your card deck yet head on to the online store and grab yourself one we've got the 100 page booklet that comes with it and your 36 glossy cards and so let's have a look and see without any further ado let's see the two animals that are going to be guiding us this week uh, as we head into another brand new week and you know don't forget that you know if you make a purchase on the online store it's going to give you an opportunity to win this artwork that's in the background and it's a 60, 60 centimeter um, size canvas print and you know this one was only listed last year and so it's another really great artwork that you can um, go check out and so the first card that we pulled out this week is with the black swan I am intuitive when I give myself permission to trust my inner guidance this um, expands the wisdom of my soul and so yeah this one is a great card to get when we're exploring our personal boundaries and you know we can go on a journey however that we feel it could be also a physical journey that you may be going into the in a car you may be going to a journey in the car somewhere you may be wanting to go on a journey during your meditation or contem quiet contemplation or during singing or dancing and you know listening to song or um, watching or, or dancing yourself and so you know when we can get into these modes of creativity um, we can also slow ourselves down and um, you know we can do that also through breath work or you know just um, quietly um, going through a process where we can just slow down from the day and um, keep ourselves at a pace where we're just um, not focusing on many things but allowing our mind to just drift and so if we have a look in the guidebook we can read a lot more about the black swan and you know it gives us uh, many different levels that we can kind of um, sink our teeth into and you know it can take some time for us to actually understand and take in this information because it's pretty deep and you know so going into those modes of um, journeying um, you know this is highly beneficial and can expand the knowledge of your inner beauty and so it's kind of like having taking that space and using that to just allow yourself to evolve and um, keep on um, you know allowing yourself to be just who you are and so you know especially in a world where everyone's trying to make us be somebody that we're not you know and that's really something that's um, important for us to do you know stepping away from social media at times and so it's important that you take some action this week push yourself to explore your inner boundaries and this will enable you to venture into unknown places with where your soul and 
places within your soul and territories you haven't been to before. So trust your inner guidance this week through this process of the heart and soul. Meditation and music will greatly assist you during this time in expanding this knowledge of your inner beauty and it's a beautiful thing. Um, allow yourself to be open to explore yourself more without any judgments or restrictions that have been placed upon you from the past. And so, you know, uh, it's also exploring your individual dreaming by doing this as well, this exercise. So, like I said, I'll be sharing on social media the intentions and activities that you can do that your mind can focus on to, um, you know, uh, allow this process to unfold and so let's have a look and see the other animal that's going to be guiding us this week um, through um, meditation and um, your quiet contemplation and so the other card that we pulled out this week was which is quite interesting um, you know now that we've gotten this card it's actually absolutely letting us know that this is actually contributing to the letting go and this enables you to clear the way for your past to come in and so you are letting go with the red kangaroo and the red kangaroo lets us know when I let go of fear and doubt I can see my future clearly and I move forward with ease and so yeah the red kangaroo is um, we may be in some kind of situation um, to do with um, the past and so what we're doing is we're actually allowing ourselves to step out of that and you know I don't know if you notice sometimes that you know when you have let a certain situation go physically sometimes it can still crop up and you know we feel like that we're actually somewhere else spiritually and you know even though we've left that situation sometimes it's allowing ourselves permission to leave um, you know in our own in our spiritual way and even if we've um, moved on from that place in a physical way it may still be playing out and we're not realizing so the kangaroo is so empowering because it reminds us that our soul is going to thrive by taking action to push ourselves to move forward and the time is right now and so you know as i was saying to you just before about the black swan contributing that exercise is going to contribute contribute to our future and so when we're in that um, exploration of ourselves and you know especially to do with our individual dreaming that gives us a perfect opportunity to let go of anything that's there and so that's where the journal work comes in as well because you are allowing yourself that time and you're carving that time out for yourself to do that so there may be an understanding you need to reach to let go of a major fear that's holding you back at the moment. Allow yourself to understand what that may be and what area of your life it's connected to. It could be a past relationship, past work career or some old grief. So get ready to move forward this week as your action step and something that's been heavily worrying you. Discover yourself more by recognizing what it is. Spend some time in quiet thinking contemplation and use the kangaroo as your source of inspiration to move forward in leaps and bounds to let this fear and worry go in you. So the two cards that we drew this week is with Black Swan, letting us know that I'm intuitive, uh, intuitive and you know I have and that you give yourself permission to spend some time in journeying however that may be for you in order to explore this more and you know the other card that we pulled out is the kangaroo i am letting go letting us know that we're in the process of letting go of a major fear you know try to identify what that could be or what area that's connected to i hope you have a wonderful week with these two and i'll see you again next week bye for now